It's a life of hustle and survival. See, I didn't come here to give you a lot of answers. I came here to disrupt your soul with a lot of right questions. Because I wasn't supposed to be here. Are you willing to disrupt any form of what you know? Are you willing? Are you willing to run, leap, and soar? Are you willing to become someone you've never seen before? Are you willing to reinvent yourself? Are you willing? Even at the possibility that you might fall, are you willing? Are you willing to do something you've never done before? Do the things you don't want to do. Say something you've never said before. Say the things you don't want to say so that you can be the man, the woman you've always known yourself to be. Are you willing? I remember when my, my ninth grade teacher asked me, Lisa, what do you want to be when you grow up? And see, I have to fight the Harlem Crip 30s every day to get home from school. So I looked at her and said a lie. I took an English class, I got a fail in English. And my English teacher said in front of the entire class, Lisa, you have to be the weakest writer I've ever met in my entire life. After giving me a D minus, I knew I, I knew I had an A in speech. Like, come on. He gave me a D minus and said, quote unquote, Miss Nichols, I recommend you never speak in public, that you get a desk job. So here's the beauty of that story. Other people's perception of you ain't none of your business. I was that kid that was always struggling with self-esteem. Am I good enough? Am I smart enough? No one looks like me, makes it anywhere. I'm chocolate, mocha skin, full lips, round hips and kinky hair. You just don't see me on TV. You don't see me representing beauty. You don't see me glorified. You don't see me. So the world didn't give me permission to be here. But I didn't ask for it either. Everything is a setup for your next best season. Your light belongs to everyone who will be illuminated because you were bold enough and obedient enough to let your light shine. So some of you are still asking for permission. And sometimes you have to stop asking for permission. And it's just time to give the world notice. <laughs> so I just showed up to invite you to give the world notice that you're coming. Give the world notice that you've been here. Give the world notice that you've played polite long enough. Now it's time to play for loud. Give the world notice that non-negotiable just showed up. Give the world notice that unapologetic just showed up. Give the world notice that if they can't handle your light, that you're tired, you're no longer going to dim your light. If they can't handle your light, put on some shades. Tell me one thing in your life that is great that came as a result of being comfortable. Because everywhere I look and everywhere I see in today's society, everybody's doing everything they can to be more comfortable. Understand that when you're trying to avoid the struggle, when you're trying to avoid the pain, when you're trying to avoid the hard things, you are actively choosing to be mediocre. You are actively choosing to be average. 